हेलो एवरी वन आई एम यश पटेल एंड वेलकम टू माई चैनल जंगो वर्ल्ड सो इन लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव सीन दैट हाउ वी कैन क्रिएट पोस्ट रिक्वेस्ट ओके नाउ इन टू डेज वीडियो वी हैव गोइंग टू सी दैट हाउ वी कैन डू पुट रिक्वेस्ट दैट मीन्स अपडेट अ पर्टिकुलर ऑब्जेक्ट विच इज प्रेजेंट इन डेटा बेस एंड डिलीट एन ऑब्जेक्ट विच इज डिलीट रिक्वेस्ट राइट सो फर्स्ट लेट्स गो टू सीरियलाइजर्स नाउ हियर for creating object we created create function now for updating any particular object we need to create update function okay so here i will say def update and here it is going to take self comma instance instance comma validated data okay now if i go ahead and uh, open Chrome and show you Django's official or Rest Framework website. Okay, first let me open that. I will go to Serializers, and here you can see for updating they have created update function and they have passed this much variables. Okay, and we are going to perform this same thing. Okay, so here I am just going to say instance. dot name equals to validated underscore data dot get and here I'll say name and comma I will say instance dot name which is old name okay so this is basically going to take old name okay and this thing is going to get current data. right i hope you got idea now what i'll do is i'll just replicate this multiple times and i'll copy this author i'll paste that over here 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 i'll copy this description paste that over here here i'll copy this post underscore date paste 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 is public paste that over here and slug okay i'll remove this last one now this much we have done and lastly we will say instance dot save and then we will return instance sorry oops return instance okay so here this instance is basically your data the data which is present in your database like if we are performing you know uh, update method in id number 1 then it will retrieve all the data which is present in id number 1 and then it will update accordingly okay so this instance is basically your new instance which we have wrote and this instance dot name is your old instance which is already present in your database okay so let me just you know run the server run server okay now here i will open that api blog list so here we have one um blog okay and um, if i go to admin panel i will add one another blog so i'll say markdown hmm. markdown nice language and the slug will be created automatically so i'll just say save okay done and uh, let's come over here refresh so we have two blogs now okay so once we have done this let's go to views.py now here we are going to perform up, update and uh, delete in this blog underscore detail because we need you know particular id id of that object in order to perform those two request right so if i go to blog detail detail with id 1 then you can see i have got facebook right 
so here what i will do is i will say put save if i refresh then you can see i got form over here okay now again if i say delete then you can see i got this delete button over here right so this is a rest framework ui which you get by default okay but uh, i would recommend use client uh, app like rapid api or postman in order to perform all the request but here i'll just you know demonstrate that how this particular ui works and all those things and we will see that how we can delete methods from this rapid api too right sorry rapid client rapid api client okay so in views.py we will first differentiate all the request as we have done over here so here i will just say if request dot method is double equals to get then perform this much code okay and if request dot method is double equals to put then we will first um get a particular block okay so we in order to update any object we need its id okay so here i will say block equals to block dot um objects dot get we will say pk equals to pk and here i will say serializer and that is going to have request data so i'll just copy this line from here okay and uh, here everything is going to be same as we have written in post in post method right so i'll just copy and paste that simply okay i hope you got idea now see why i have written this line because when you will perform a put method then it will it is going to create new data by default if you if i demonstrate this one so let me do i'll just refresh okay so i'll copy this thing paste that over here okay i'll remove this id and uh, i will say facebook 2 and i'll say nice social media updated updated okay everything is fine now if i say put then you can see it created new data you can see its id it's 3 and if i go ahead and show you with a block list then you can see i have another entry created which i don't want to do right so what i am going to do is i'll just uncomment this and i'll take this block variable and pass it to serializer okay so by this serializer will understand that on which id it it need to perform put request if this serializer will not get put any id or any uh, address on which it should perform uh, update method then it is going to create new one okay now if i go ahead and refresh now i have one id okay and you can see in url it's one now if i paste all this thing i'll just copy once again paste it i'll remove this id and here in title i will say updated updated title okay now if i click on put request okay so i have author okay 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 i have did one more mistake in last video i have removed this author from database right if i go to models then you can see i have deleted that field so i need to remove this author from here and author from here also okay save that come over here refresh copy this thing again Is that remove this ID, and here I will say updated title, and I will click on this put. Now you can see our ID is one, and we have Facebook 
updated title now if i go to blog title sorry blog list then you can see we have id 1 we have three data okay as i have shown previously and it has updated this uh title which with id number one i hope you got idea right now if i do same thing for this id number two from rapid api okay here i will say id two i will just okay I got this ID too. Now I'll go to body JSON and here I will paste that. Okay. Now I will remove this ID and instead of this markdown, I will say markdown updated and here nice language. Mm, I will say very nice language instead of nice language. Okay, now if I click on uh, not send before sending request, make sure you have selected put over here. Okay, and if I click on send, then you can see it has updated and our status code is okay. So let's go to browser back, refresh, and you can see it has updated. Okay, I hope you got idea about this uh, put request, which means updating any particular object. Okay now we have delete so in order to perform delete request we don't need to make any changes in serializers okay which are, we are going to make changes in our views only so if i say if request dot method is double equals to delete then we will just you know retrieve that uh, um, what we say ID first so I will say blog equals to I'll just copy this line just to save time okay now I will say blog dot delete and we need to send response otherwise it is going to throw errors I'll say return response okay so here what it is going to do is that it will take id okay id from here so in our uh, in our language like if i show you if we are on id 1 okay if i click on this delete then it should delete id 1 only okay it should keep id 2 and 3 as it is okay save this come over here refresh and if i click on delete then it has deleted okay now if i go to blog list then you can see we have two entries right now and if i refresh over here then you can see we have one and two let me do one more thing i will go to you know admin.py file and instead of one i will say 10 refresh now it is more clearly visible okay so in database also we have two data right now if i do same thing from rapid api client okay i will delete this second entry but from put i will select de delete method and if i click on send then we have successfully deleted that particular entry now if i go to all blocks and send the get request then i should see only one data let me check on admin panel we have only one data okay so i hope you got idea about this put and delete request too so we have seen every request okay get post put and delete so in short we have seen that how we can perform crud operation basic crud operation in django rest api okay so in next lecture we will maybe start with uh, status code or we will see that how we can use class based view okay instead of, instead of uh, function based view you will see in next video i have not decided yet on which uh, concept i am going to make video but it will be any one concept which i have told okay it will be either status code or it will be class based views
okay so yeah i hope you got idea about this uh, four request and yeah this is it for today's video guys if you like my video please like share and subscribe to my channel and i will see you in next one thank you